Welcome to Mystic Moons. I hope everyone is doing well. Thank you for my subscribers for joining. And for those who haven't subscribed, please think about doing so. And you're welcome to enjoy this trip. Today, we're going to take a trip to... Buckle up. We're all in that psychic spaceship. We're going to take a trip to Donald Trump land. And we're going to speculate, divine as the spirits, is Donald Trump going to be okay on July the 11th? July the 11th is when he goes in for sentencing for the hush money case in New York City. And the fact is, will he or won't he be put in jail considering he was sentenced? to all 35 counts, felony counts, for having sex with a hoe, a porn star, 18 years ago. Hmm. One thing you have to love about American affairs, it's always connected to sex when you deal with a political person. And anyone else, too, of any type of wealth. It's always sex. However, let us find out if Donald Trump will be sentenced for jail sentence. Will he receive a jail sentence on July the 11th? And I'd like to, you know, if you have any comments about this, please share so we can collectively elevate ourselves to what's happening in the world. And let's speculate if he is jailed. Well, first of all, let's see if he will become jailed. A lot of improprieties were happened in the trial. There was gag orders. There was uh, evidence that was not considered to be shared by all. And even the judge instructed the jury that you did not have to have a not anonymous decisions which is quite the contrary from the past legal directives. He just had to feel that he had in his heart a desire to defraud, felony defraud. And, of course, the Supreme Court, I do believe, made a recent decision about juries had to have unanimous no one uh, ver verdicts but however they were instructed by the judge who is the captain of the ship in each case in each case we'll leave it that way in each case whether it's the prosecution or defense side of course there's always you know those two sides in a case all right so now let's find out everyone ready seatbelts on tight Psychic caps on. Well, let's see. Will former President Donald Trump be sentenced to jail on July the 11th? Let's see. Will he be sentenced to jail on July the 11th? President Trump, even though you won the debate, or at least fared better than your than your component. Make sure I have these on the right side. A debate is a debate, and a jury is a jury. A case is a case. So let's find out. Will you be sentenced to jail, Donald Trump? for the hush money case in New York City on July the 11th. Will you be? Let's see now. Will President Trump be... I'm just picking these at random to get a feel for it. Will he be sentenced to jail on July the 11th? People seem to forget that, that he made like $500 million on the verdict of that day, or because of that verdict, to go to his war chest. Uh, and of course he 
manages to get like fabulous amounts of money, but still, the judge is the judge, the fearless Juan Merchant. And other men would be frightened to go against an opponent with so much influence, but not the judge, Merchant. He's not frightened. He's a lot of kahunis, that's for sure. Now, is he going to rock an appeal? All right, let's take a, these cards, you know, where is feeling, feeling, feeling? Let's take this one. You know, feeling, feeling, feeling. Let's see if we can get a sign of something. All right, take this one. Let's see. Is the judge? Going to sentence. Let's just see about that one. Let's see. Is he going to sentence Donald Trump to jail? Is he? Is he really? Can he? Is he going to sentence Donald Trump to jail? All right. So, let's see what we have here. There's two stars. These spiders are very precious to indigenous people in North America because they are the first weavers. They're not at all meant to be gruesome or negative. They're just a sign of the gods, bringing fire, bringing heat, bringing knowledge to the masses, to the people, the people of the earth. That's what spiders are, the first weavers. They taught us many things. What? So, now, let's see. Donald J. Trump? Donald Trump, are you going to be put in jail? Well, we have the Two of Cups. Hmm, Two of Cups. Perhaps the prosecution and the defense teams with the judge will work out something. Perhaps. Or the defense will... Somebody's working together on opposing sides. Or making them some kind of unified agreement. And then here we have the Ace of Pentacles. Something new. It could be the Supreme Court ruling. And another Ace of Cups. An Ace of Pentacles and an Ace of Cups. Perhaps they're thinking about the actual fate. If they do sentence him to jail, what would happen? So they're coming up with an inventive type of the legalese. We have all these ideas. They're talking together and negotiating because it could be chaos for New York City, further chaos for New York City. New York City is already in the doldrums and then help with its friends. It looks like that there's going to be an agreement prior. Perhaps help from your friends, Six of Swords. No, yes, Six of Swords. Help. Help is on the way, and we have two innovative new new ideas, new avenues of which to go. The Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Meaning the time and energy to harness a crowd of, rebel, of Donald supporters would... I mean, the emotions could be overflowing, and is it really worth it to do it to the city? And my kitty cat says yes. And I give her a squirt. Alright, for her to be quiet. She has many comments. Alright, now, we see both sides working together. Could be, obviously, it's the defense and the legal side, the winning side. Two sides cooperating. We have the A 
Ace of Pentacles. Could be the monetary, earthly realm of things. And we have the Ace of Cups, the overflowing of emotions and the new idea of oh, how to soothe tempers. And we have help of friends. And we have help because it's the Six of Swords. We're working on it. Now, we have Eager. We have Emotional Security. And over here, Emotional Security of Eager. Eager Friends, Emotional Security is sought in the Ace of Cups. Emotions. Water equals emotions, overflowing. And here we have Two of Cups. Could be weak. Weak. Weak, weak, weak. What is weak? The case is weak. The case is weak. The evidence is stronger. The evidence is weak. And here we have engagement and we have good move. Donald Trump is not going to go to jail. All right? Because we have, look at all the things we have here. We have eager friends. We have an emotional security. This idea is the best in the long run. Nobody's looking for civil war. It's, that's BS. Here we have the ten of the ace of pentacles. It's an engagement and it's a good move. Right? It's a good move. These are all random cards. And then here we have the two of cups. And we have the evidence put, I would say the evidence put through the case is weak. The case is weak. So they're working it out. They'd probably give a little show and then just, you know, save face. But, you know, Donald Trump is not going to jail. It's not going to jail. All right, everyone. Let's get back on our space shuttle and, you know, relax a bit. And because we and think about the fact that Donald, did, Donald Trump is not going to go to jail over the hush money case. He's not going to be sentenced. Well, we'll be on appeal and he will not be serving jail. It's not going to happen. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, like, like this or make comments, please add on. And uh, if you'd like to contribute or you like a private reading, don't hesitate. Just email me at the description box below. All right. Thank you very much. And let's head out to space. Thank you very much. Bye.